There are concerns that the numbers of pollinating insects such as bees and flies are declining, but we need more data to be able to track changes. If you have 10 minutes to spare, you can really help by doing a flower insect timed count, or fit count. Simply by counting the numbers of insects that land on a small patch of flowers, you can help us to understand changes in the abundance of flower visiting insects. The most useful counts are those that are repeated over time at the same location or close by. You can use different target flowers at different times of year. If you've been taking actions to help pollinators, perhaps by planting more pollinator friendly flowers over time, doing regular fit counts will allow you to measure the impact of those actions as you may see the number of visiting insects increase. Doing a fit count might be a chance to slow down and take 10 minutes to yourself in nature. Or it might be something that you can do with family, friends or your class in school. It does force you to stop and notice things. You might be amazed at how much insect diversity you see in 10 minutes. Or you might be surprised at how few insects you see. Insect numbers change with season and weather. But it might also be because your area is not very pollinator friendly. If that is the case, there are lots of resources to help you understand how to change that at pollinators.ie. Everyone can help to collect this data through citizen science. You don't need to be an expert. Doing a flower insect timed count is a really easy way to help to contribute to our knowledge of how insect populations are doing. You simply watch a 50 by 50 centimeter patch of flowers for 10 minutes and record how many insects visit. Firstly, you can visit our webpage pollinators.ie forward slash fit count to print off a recording form and read through the guides to help you complete the survey. On your form you can fill in the background information about the weather and your location and the flower patch you'll be watching. This survey runs from April 1st to September 30th. Wait for a good day, it should be warm and dry. If the sky is clear, less than half cloud, the minimum temperature for a count is 13 degrees Celsius. If the sky is cloudy, half cloud or more, the minimum temperature for a count is 15 degrees Celsius. Make a square measure using twine, tape or cardboard to mark out your 50 by 50 centimeter square. You can do this survey anywhere, for example your back garden, farm, local park or school. It's helpful if you can choose to focus on one of the survey's target flowers. Buttercup, dandelion, hawthorn, bramble, lavender, hogweed, knapweed, ragwort, white clover, red clover, budlia, heather, thistle or ivy. But if you can't find any of these flowers it's fine to choose another flower that is attracting insects. Take a photo of your target flower patch. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Stand close enough to the patch so that you can see the insects landing on the flowers but don't lean over the top of the patch as your shadow can deter insects from visiting. Count every insect that lands on one of the flowers of your target species within the 50 by 50 centimeter patch. Try to count each individual insect just once. If a bumblebee goes from flower to flower in your patch, that just counts as one. Count the total number of insects. If you can, put them into the different groups on the recording form. We don't expect you to be an expert, just to do the best you can. It may be the case that no insects visit in the 10 minutes. This is still a valid result and should be submitted. Add your results to the online data submission system. If you can carry out multiple counts, for example once a month or even once a week, that would be fantastic and will add value to your data. The most useful counts are those that are repeated over time at the same location or very nearby. You can use different target flowers at different times of year. 
See pollinators.ie forward slash fit count to take part.